Hey guys, it's Crystal back with another video for you. Today we are going to be getting real dirty, so stay tuned to see what I mean. Alrighty guys, so I was not lying. We are gonna be getting down and dirty today. We are continuing on with the Honda build and we're gonna be detail cleaning some engine components. Super Clean has been so awesome and they sent me all these products to try. So I figured might as well just make a video for you guys so that we can all see how good it cleans all together. Um, so over here I have this degreaser that they sent in a spray bottle. And then I also have the same degreaser but in the aerosol can. I have an all wheel cleaner and then I have this floor absorbent so I don't think I'm going to be using this today but I will be keeping it because it will definitely come in handy I'm sure sometime in the future. So along with the package it kind of came with um, a little guide on what everything um, is, what it does and how you can use it. So I am really excited for these degreasers. So as you can see we have the spray bottle version and then we have the aerosol can. So apparently the aerosol can version is supposed to stick to surfaces a lot better which is going to be nice for like vertical surfaces that typically um, the content in this bottle would be dripping down. This will stick more to that. Um, so so they say that you want to use it on cold surfaces so you don't want to let it dry. So this will be really nice so we can keep um, the degreaser on the surface. It won't get super dry, it'll stick to that surface and it'll allow us to thoroughly clean. So over here, this is just supposed to be doing really, really well at taking off all the grime and stuff that you get from the road. Without further ado, let's test out some of these products. So right over here, I have the coolant pipe from the B16 that I'm going to be uh, cleaning today to see how this works. I think I want to use the aerosol can first. Um, and just as a precaution, I'm going to be using gloves, of course, when cleaning with chemicals. So let me get these bad boys on. My little dishwashing gloves. So cute, huh? Okay. okay. Go ahead and shake this a little bit. Then, I like how it foams. So first impressions, I love how foamy it is. So I can clearly see where it's sticking um, on the pipe. Um, it looks like it is dissolving pretty quickly, but it looks like it's doing its job. I can see that it did cover a good amount of surface on the pipe. So I'm just gonna let it sit here um, for a little bit. And of course, not let it dry all the way and then get some scrubbing. I've had it sitting here for a few seconds now, so I'm just gonna go in with this bristle brush and see how that comes off. So this is a pretty soft bristle brush, but even then it is taking off this grime already, which is pretty impressive. That just goes to show how good the chemical is and just breaking that stuff down. All right, so I'm just gonna pause and take a look at this. This is my first attempt at cleaning, and mind you, I've only been using this paper towel and this really soft bristle brush. So just comparing this to the other side here, you can see how disgusting and grimy it was. This is literally what it looked like. And that's just one go through with a paper towel. <laughs> And it's taken off so much, so it's ex exposed that zinc coating. And you guys know me, the whole point of my Honda build is just to restore it and getting back to looking good. So this is like that OEM Plus look that I'm going for. Um, I went ahead and brought out this sponge here. So I'm gonna start to go at it with this a little bit, do one more spray, um, and see if I can go even further with the cleaning. Now that we've done a thorough scrub of the pipe, let's go ahead and rinse all this gunk off and see what it looks like. So I really only let the degreaser sit for about 30 seconds. And that's pretty much all it needed. Gosh, the pipe looks so much better. So all this is actually in the pipe, or it's part of the pipe now. I think it's just 
a little beaten over the years, but it looks brand new again, guys. So far, I am very impressed with the aerosol can. So obviously you guys saw that did not take long at all. Um, that was years of just grime and dirt built up onto this pipe and it, gosh, took maybe one minute to get it all off. Um, I just am so impressed with the overall quality of the chemical. I mean, you can see that zinc coat now. It just looks brand new again, and it com looks completely restored. So obviously, um, like I said, this is all just part of that wear and tear from over the years. It's not dirt or grime at all. It's just part of the pipe now, so I don't want anyone to think that's dirt. It looks so, so good and even better in person. So far, 10 out of 10 for the degreaser. Next, I wanna test out the super clean um, degreaser in this bottle on the thermostat housing. So before anybody freaks out, I am gonna re be replacing the sensor and the thermostat, everything inside. I'm basically just cleaning the metal because I wanna see how well it does cleaning this. So, um, and just to, kind of give you guys a reference here. So I am gonna be doing the full strength since I am doing this on this car part. Um, but if you wanted to do it, for example, on like your carpet or floor mats, you can do three parts water, one part super clean, and then you can go even down to, let me see, like your seats, for example, eight parts water, one part super clean. So it basically gives you a whole guide. You can do indoor, outdoor, auto, and RV and marine, wow. So this is really well-rounded, which is awesome. So without further ado, let's get started on this one. Let me see what they have here. So we're gonna do the spray. Awesome, so I'm gonna make sure that gets nice and coated. I'm gonna let that sit for a sec. So I gave it about 30 seconds last time, so I'm gonna probably do the same thing with um, the spray bottle version of the degreaser. I think that's been sitting on there long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can get off. And no jokes about women cleaning, guys. I don't wanna hear it. Everyone should be cleaning their stuff. Right, and this dirt is just coming right off. You can already see this part here. It's just looking so good. Let's get this little piece at the bottom. Let's see if we can kind of tackle the bottom here. Oh, this is just going off so easily. You can see the belly of the thermostat already looks so much better. I think the hardest part is just getting these little nooks and crannies. I don't think this sponge is the best thing to be using, but I think the chemical definitely does most of the work for you. So as I'm cleaning this, I am just so blown away already. I mean, I've only been going at it for a few seconds and it already looks so much better. So just comparing the two products together, I feel like if I used the aerosol can, that would have helped get these um, little crevices a lot easier since the aerosol can product does stick. Um, instead of kind of running off like this um, bottle degreaser. So I think in the future for different parts, I would try using the aerosol can, but I can definitely see good results coming from the spray bottle as well. I think also if I had like a little toothbrush, um, that could help get in the nooks and crannies a little bit better. But overall, super impressed. It's minimal effort to get the dirt off. I mean, just spraying the degreaser onto the surface got most of it off already, which was really amazing. Um, but yeah guys, so you can see how good of a job it does. Now that I've tested out the product on the thermostat housing and the coolant pump, I wanna see how the aerosol degreaser is going to do on my engine. So as you can see, this is still a work in progress, guys. Um, I have ordered more parts for it, so it's 
not forgotten. Um, but you can see that it's not the dirtiest, but it's also not the cleanest either. I just cleaned it with generic car cleaner, um, and I meant carb cleaner, carburetor cleaner. <laughs> so it did a pretty good job, um, but I'm really curious to see how the aerosol degreaser is gonna do on this one. Um, so far you can tell that this is my favorite. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go on and spray some of the sides here. I love the way that foams. So you can see easily where um, there isn't any product and you can just go back in and spray where it needs. I've let the chemical sit for about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna start off with this bristle brush and see how good of a job that does. I think it might be a little bit too soft, um, but I wanna see how this gets into the little nooks and crannies here. I really think a toothbrush in this case might be my best tool. <laughs> oh my gosh, but look at how dirty that is. So you can already see how easily it's just lifting all of this dirt. I'll also go in with my sponge to see how that does too. All right, I think we've agitated it enough, so I'm just gonna go and kind of pour this over. I know it's ghetto, it's a water bottle, but I wanna see how much grime that took off just with the brush. Wow. Clearly, depending on the type of results that you're looking for, you can really spend some time and make this whole thing look brand new. So that was just one go through and I'm so surprised. It did such a good job cleaning. I mean, you guys saw what it looked like before. This really did a thorough clean. It got in a lot of those uh, crevices and even scooped the dirt out of there. Of course, this toothbrush and the sponge really helped, but the chemical did most of the work, which is really, really nice. So just for one go through, that it looks really, really good. If I did this maybe one more time, I can only imagine what it's gonna look like. Probably brand new. Overall, I am very impressed with this product. It's just the quality of the product and how strong it is on this really, really tough grime is amazing. So I think uh, Super Clean gained a new customer. I will definitely be buying this from now on. And I love how on top of cleaning your car parts, it's very universal. So you can use it for virtually anything. And again, they do have that guide um, available on superclean.com um, that you can visit. And it kind of lets you know um, what it's safe to use on and what kind of dilution to use. So overall, I'm very, very impressed. I cleaned, it cleaned so well, guys. It cleaned my press on nails right off. Yeah, so great. <laughs> it's a good thing, look at they're all gone. That's the ones I was using the most, so it's okay. It was so worth it because this engine already looks a million times better. <laughs> Guys, you know, I couldn't end this video without giving you all an engine build update. So um, I have a lot of moving pieces happening behind the scenes. As you can see back here, I have this oil pickup. Remember, we were trying to um, identify what was wrong with it. So obviously this is bent in. Um, that filter that's inside has a lot of grime built up. It is so nasty and obviously not good for the engine. So we got another one and they are discontinued in America. So I had to get them, uh, order it from Japan. And let me tell you guys, it was not cheap, but just comparing it side by side, oh my gosh, the night and day difference. Um, obviously the color is way different. You can see this isn't bent in like this. The filter inside is beautiful. So that's what it's supposed to look like for all you guys that are building a B16 engine at home. This is what it's supposed to look like if you need one. Japan is where you need to go um, to order it. So yeah, over here we have boxes and boxes of stuff. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of these little bolts for the head. We have tons of little seals, sensors. This box is just filled with seals, sensors. We have, um, yeah, more seals here. Over here we have a new timing belt and then a new timing belt tensioner. Um, just comparing this to the old one, night and day difference. 
So basically anything that's in the engine, guys, it is being touched, it is being redone. I wanna try and make this as beautiful as possible. And I really have you guys to thank for that. This is not only my build, this is all of our build. It's definitely a team effort. Every time you guys watch my videos and give me that view, that just is a huge contribution and it allows me to get all this stuff so that I can keep on with the build and keep on with the content. So definitely a team effort. This is not just my Honda, it's our Honda. So, um, but yeah, obviously look, still so much in this box. We have a lot going on and there is still way more to come, but I want this to be as awesome and beautiful as possible. Um, and you guys are really making that happen. So thank you so much. Before I sign off, I really wanted to touch on this. I got some new timing belt covers. Um, again, guys, I am paying a lot of attention to detail here. This is really, really important to me. And then I also have a new water pump right over here. It's still in the packaging. I haven't even opened it yet. But um, yeah, overall, I am super, super excited for this build. Um, I mean, I try to go above and beyond. This isn't something that typically people will focus on, but it's something that I wanna focus on and I'm really excited to get that all done. Um, but yeah, guys, that is all I have for today. So of course, as always, if you like this video, please like it down below. Uh, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about all this and what you think about Super Clean. So far, I am very impressed and they definitely gained a new customer with me. I really, really liked it. Um, but yeah, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, Queen BRZ, out.